guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. A few days ago, I shared with you my image I created in Adobe Photoshop CC and many of you asked me to record tutorial how I created this image. So guys, let's start. I have opened my Adobe Photoshop CC and also I have opened my Adobe Stock library where I have all my images I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. To open any image from your Creative Cloud library in a separate document, simply double click on the image and voila. Now I will zoom out my image for the better view. And now guys, I need to add another image into my document. To add any image from your Creative Cloud library to your document, simply click on the image and drag it into your document. I will resize it, I will make it smaller and I will reposition it. Now I will click OK to accept this layer. Definitely I need to remove a background, guys, and today I will be not talking about selecting and masking your object. Um, I have recorded separate tutorial about how you can select and mask your subject. So you can go to my YouTube channel and um, you will be able to find this tutorial. To remove background out of my image, I will click on a quick selection tool and in the options bar, I have a button select subject. I will click on select subject button and voila, Photoshop selected my subject for me. I will click on select and mask button, which is next to select subject button and I will be redirected to select and mask workspace. I will zoom in my image. As you can see, Photoshop did great job for me. I just would like to correct a few details. I will click on a brush tool with minus icon selected and I will paint out um, background between her uh, back, her shoulders and her dress, just like that. And also between her hands, just like that. Uh, I will specify output setting to a new layer with layer mask and I will click OK. Now guys, as you can see, Photoshop is created a separate layer with layer mask. If I will uh, want to adjust or uh, correct my selection uh, or masking later on, I will double click on the layer mask and I will be redirected back to select and mask workspace. I will click on cancel for now. And now I have three layers, one background layer, one original, my denser layer, and another my denser layer with layer mask. So I will delete my original denser layer. I don't need it. I will switch to move tool and I will move my uh, denser just like that. Also, I will resize it. I will make it smaller. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I can manipulate my subject without jumping to a free transform tool just because when, let me accept my uh, changes first, just because when I'm uh, using my uh, move tool in this uh, options bar, I have specified show transform controls box. So I have selected show transform uh, controls box. And in this way, I can modify my subject without jumping to free transform tool. I like this feature a lot. So I will reposition my uh, dancer. And now I have two layers, one background layer and one dancer layer. I will click on dancer layer mask icon. I will switch to my simple brush tool with black color. I will bring down opacity of my brush about 14 and definitely I will make size for my brush smaller. And I will paint over her dress. I'm kind of applying transparency to part of her dress. I like this. I think it's much, much more elegant, just like that. And here more, just like that. So now I have two layers, one background layer and one uh, my dancer layer. I need to apply reflection to my uh, image. What I will do, I will switch to my move tool. I will duplicate my dancer layer. And now I have three layers, one background, 
and two denser uh, layers. I will click on a uh, layer uh, in the middle between my background and top denser layer. And because I, I'm still using move tool, I will be able to rotate my subject without jumping to free transform tool. So I will flip it just like that and I will bring it up just like that. I will accept my changes. I will bring down opacity for my ref reflection layer and I will apply kind of blur effect to my uh, reflection. I'm, I'm going to filter blur. Guys, you can use any blur you're more comfortable with. I will decrease radius about 1.0. Uh, 1 I will click OK. Now, guys, I still have uh, highlighted my middle layer. I will click on um, create a new layer. I will switch to eyedropper tool and I will pick color out of my background layer. Time to switch to my uh, brush tool. Guys, uh, if you are Creative Cloud subscriber, simply go to uh, menu, get more brushes and you will be redirected to Adobe website where you will be able to find hundreds of amazing Kale of Webster brushes. I love those brushes. I'm using uh, I'm using those brushes in my painting and art workflow. Simply go and download those uh, brushes. Today I will be using brushes from um, let me show to you spatter underscore uh, brushes to folder. I will click on um, brush. You can use any brush you like. I will increase size of my brush to. 1455 pixels and uh, guys uh, if you remember we, we have created a new layer and I will apply my first brush stroke just like that I will release uh, my pen I will go to edit fade brush tool and I will move my slider opacity slider slightly to the left just like that and I will click OK now I will create a new layer. I will bring down size for my brush and I will apply another brush stroke just like that. If you made any mistake or you don't like anything, simply go step backward. I will increase size for my brush and I will apply another brush stroke just like that. It's too much. Just like that. Perfect. Now I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to eyedropper tool and I will pick color out of my background just like that. Switch back to my paintbrush tool and just like that. Edit, fade the uh, brush tool and voila. Click add a new layer. I will bring down size for my brush and I will apply a few more um, brush strokes just like that. And now I will bring down opacity for my layer. Now I will switch to eyedropper tool again and I will pick another color out of my um, background layer. Switch back to my paintbrush tool, create a new layer and I will apply another brush stroke just like that. If you don't like anything, simply go step backward. Guys, everything depends on your preferences. Again, you don't need to um, do exactly what I said. Uh, I'm just giving you some idea how you can create a beautiful art image using um, Kyle Webster's brushes. It's very, very, very great um, experience. Guys, simply go and download uh, those brushes. I will bring down opacity of my layer just like that. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch color and I will apply another brush stroke just like that. Now guys, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to another brush. Guys, again, you can use any brush you want to. Just like that. And I will use another color. I will bring down size for my brush and I will simply paint just like that. 
You know what, guys? I will go step backward and I will move my new empty layer above all my layers. And I will create kind of this splash of the color just like that. I don't like it, so I will go step backward and I will create another brush stroke. And now I will go to Edit, Fade Brush Tool, and I will bring Opacity Slider uh, to the left, just like that. I will create a new empty layer, and I will apply another brush stroke. And now I will bring down Opacity of my layer, just like that. And I will continue working with this brush, just like that. So guys, now, we have a um, beautiful um, splash uh, of colors. If, and if you want, you can move um, all uh, colors uh, between two, uh, la two denser layers. So I will select two layers and I will move them just like that. Now I will hide my background layer, my denser layers and I will merge all visible layers. I will bring back all my layers and I will duplicate my uh, color um, layer. I will move my new duplicated layer behind my uh, reflection layer. I will switch to my move tool and I will flip this layer just like that. I will accept this layer. I will bring down opacity of this layer, just like that. And I will merge all layers, merge visible. I will duplicate my layer, just to show you before and after. And I will go to filter, camera raw filter. And guys, here, I will move exposure slider to the left. I will move contrast slider to the right. I'm increasing contrast almost to maximum. I will move highlight slider to the right. So I'm increasing highlight all highlights almost to the maximum. Same with shadows. I will switch to tone curve and I will move um, highlight slider almost to the right and I will click OK. And guys, let me show to you before and after. This is before camera row filter and this is after. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. I will appreciate if you will create um, something after my tutorial and you will share your image with me on, um, you, on uh, um, Twitter. Simply tag me with your post. And I will appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel if you like my tutorial and guys thank you for being with me and i will see you next time bye